right now I'm trying to go on a little bit of a hiring frenzy. So I'll go over my hiring process. It starts with a incredibly intense test. What I'm really looking for is someone who's one is very motivated, who's going to do an incredibly difficult trial task. And then what we're going to do is, I'll, I guess I'll just show you guys. And sorry for the poor energy. I will explain that soon. So position, creative video editor. Um, here's the application process. So as part of the application process, we would like you to edit the first five minutes of this video. And then let me click on this link and I'll come back to that. So once you've submitted the guidelines, we made a, I mean, well, I had PJ make an email. So once you complete the test, please email the final version to this guy, just some made up email so we can make sure we sort these things pretty easily along with your submission please go over why you made the specific edits that you did if given more time what would have you done differently how do you envision improving the overall video in the future um blah 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 anyway this is the intense part so download all the footage from this and so this is a ton of footage uh we're sending them a ridiculous amount of stuff every single part has this many things but i'll show you guys what actually goes into this so part one edit a dope car montage people do with their really cool cars but it's like a super geeky car that we want them to edit it's to make it so it's kind of like a comedic part of the video uh so we're going over every scene scene one scene two scene three <sighs> scene four and then it's just be creative make sure you put your own spin on the story we're giving them the idea the outline the story a lot of this is just a lot of direction but then it's a it's also a lot of it is up to for interpretation because we're looking for someone who's very creative minded, who can take the crazy ideas that we sometimes have and can turn it into very cool things. And right now, uh, if this doesn't make sense, I work with very large businesses and I help them grow their brands and through that through social media. And then the goal of that is to funnel to get more customers. But a lot of the times, so we need a very unique creative editor. And I'll just show you how much actually goes into one video. And so this is actually, this is this right here is like a, gonna be like a four or five minute video, but it's how we regrew someone's thumbs using stem cells. And so you talk about, uh, you have the title thumbnail planned out, you have the intro, you have the scene one, where where the scenes are taking place, what B-roll is being shown, what um, what the dialogue is, uh, what kind of um, emotional tonalities in the music. And then you go scene, where is the scenes? You put every single location, you put the time, how long you expect it to be. And then let's say for this two minute scene, so this is scene, scene three inside of a lab with a doctor explaining the kind of science behind the stem cells that allowed for the regrowth. This is going to be a uh, graphic animated and that, I mean, just that two minutes is going to have an extreme budget because you're trying to visually illustrate what the doctor is saying. And then uh, you're going over every single step. So the, all this stuff has to be pre-planned out. And when you're making a very high quality video with the goal of having as little work as on the entrepreneur as humanly possible, you need all of this stuff to be pre-planned out. And you have to be able to give the vision to the editors the same way that you had it. But with these, let's say, let's say this six minute video is going to have at least an hour plus of B-roll of edits. And so they're going to turn an hour into six minutes. And a lot of that is on PJ and I to get that to them in the right order and make it organized and do everything easy. So, and then give them the vision, but it's also on the editor. And so there's so many moving parts. <sighs> Wildly tired. So right now we are in. Tijuana, Mexico. I already made a video earlier today, but the audio didn't work. So I'm remaking one with the guys who own the stem cell hospital. And so we're recording in person. Uh, my morales and energies were quite low today. I've got to get a good night's sleep so I can be dialed in tomorrow when I have much more energy. I mean, usually I can have really good conversations, but I'm, I'm just I'm mentally and physically quite drained right now, which I hate. I absolutely hate. Maybe I just didn't drink enough coffee today. That's probably what happened. But anyway, I'm not going to be complaining. This is what we're doing. So we're going on a bit of a hiring frenzy because I 
think I'm going to take on quite a few new clients. And with that, I need a lot more firepower behind me with really good, really creative editors. So any strategist, content strategist, editors, thumbnail designers, we're hiring all of them because I, I guess a lot of people don't realize how much revenue can actually come from driving traffic from a YouTube to a business. And I'm not going to go into how much money these guys make, but they have the most prestigious cancer research lab, as well as one of the most prestigious stem cell hospitals in the world that they're the guys who sponsor the UFC. It's, it's really incredible what they've done. They were both mixed martial arts fighters back in the day and really, really cool guys. Just going to see what we can do here tomorrow. It's going to be a very, 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 very busy day. Wednesday is going to be a very busy day. Thursday is going to be a very busy day. Then we're flying out to LA. Now we might actually not have to go to Nashville. It seemed like there might have been a communication issue. So might just go to LA, hang out with some country artist. His name's Jelly Roll. And then going to go back to Boston, see the family for a bit. Then get to Scottsdale. Then we're going to be in a routine. That's all I really want. I just want to be in a really good routine. Even if we're forced to travel three to four, maybe even five times a month, once in a while. Having a routine the rest of the time is is really what what I need. And so I'm only going to travel under very, very strict circumstances. It's going to be for work, but that's all I travel for now anyway. And I've been stuck traveling forever. But I'd like, a dream case scenario, we don't travel for like two months. <laughs> uh, how good would that be, PJ? <laughs> no. <laughs> No travel for two months. It's not possible, but gosh, I really need it though. <laughs> Fortunately, I can't wait to post up somewhere. <laughs> How many hotels have we stayed in? Like houses? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. A lot, a, yeah. a lot. If you guys have been following the saga, we've been very, very excited for this coming up. <laughs> Exciting, you know. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely ready to post up. Get getting that routine in uh, Phoenix. I think that'll be a lot of fun too. Oh, I love Scott still. I'm like super stoked to get back. Uh, I, I just want to end this video because I, I made an actual pretty decent video yesterday or this morning while we were at the airport, but it got deleted. So having to make this.